D&D gang, what's going on guys? I got another video for you today. You know the drill. Hey, if you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, go ahead right now, click the subscribe button, join the gang. That way you won't miss any of my future videos. I have really, really high hopes for today's episode. We are on a tributary of a larger river. That particular river holds some huge fish. Huge fish. My understanding is that some of those fish in the summer when the water was warm swam up this creek and hopefully they're kind of just taking refuge for this time of the year and possibly to spawn so we're in here today i got both rods nine foot five weight the euro rod it's going to be a pretty awesome day we're just going to be hitting some riffles some pools doing all kinds of techniques using different flies should be a lot of fun i want to get right to fishing today so i'm going to switch cameras show you guys in better detail the exact flies that we're going to be using today we're gonna get in the river, start fishing. Alrighty guys, nine foot five weight. We're gonna be running an isolated hopper. No dropper fly today, just this. I believe it's a size eight. So that's what we're gonna be going with on our nine foot five weight. As far as our Euro setup goes today, this is what we're gonna be nymphing with. Our anchor fly is this golden stone fly. I believe it's a size eight. And then up from that, if I can find it here, of course, we have our DHSH, and this is available to purchase. If you guys want to use the exact flies I'm using, head over to ddflies.com. You can find the link to that website in the description. Let's go catch some fish. All righty, guys. Let's start with our hopper first on this section. Take just a few casts with this. Maybe, maybe we'll get one on top. And then we're going to nymph this nice and thorough. Make sure we're not missing any fish through this section. I'm going to start in pretty close here. Never know. It's right off the main current. You also don't want to go out and take a big step and then spook a fish. So go just a little bit further now. A little bit further. I still got through there alive. Go a little farther out. It's right out in that main current now. Wouldn't be surprised. Alright, so we cleared this area. Now we can kind of step in here. Throw it up just a little bit higher. All right, guys, we're going to grab the nymph rod and hit this with the nymph rod. A little further. Nice water levels, though. This is a lot of fun to nymph this type of water. It's just so effective. Oh, had a fish. Guys, we had one. Oh my gosh, had a, had one on. Wow, we nymphed one up. I doubt he's going to hit again because we pricked him, but maybe there's more right in that zone. Wow, missed one. That stinks. All right, well, he moved. Don't worry, he's not biting again, so let's move up a little higher. Get really up into this riffle a little bit more. Try the shallow side first here. It's a pretty good spot right there. Got one. Got one, guys. Fish on. Oh, I'm in the trees. Huh. Put the rod in the trees, guys. But we got a fish. I don't know what this is. Looks like a trout. Looks like a trout. What did he take? What do we got here? Brown trout on the DHSH. Man, this fly is just the winner. Even running that gold, wow, wild brown trout. Check this out. I'm going to get this guy unhooked. Right in the corner. 
this nymph absolute killer alrighty guys let me give you a quick look at this trout and we're gonna get them back in check this out wild brown trout super cool awesome you can see there's a couple rocks up here that slow the water down just a little bit it's a big rock over there I'm sure there's something behind that and then of course there's this zone down here above this rock so let's try it through here again it's good looking riffle getting a good drift maybe we'll just let these flies swing through this little whitewater spot maybe we'll just let them go right through see if something grabs them nope all right i kind of want to wade out and hit behind this big rock over here left no spot unturned see right through there is pretty slow aside from the rest of the water if i was a trout i'd probably be hanging out in there try to get one over that far side That's a good drift right there. Oh man, that could have been a fish. That could have been a fish. Let's try to repeat that. Right down through that soft zone. Right in there, got him. It was a fish. It was a fish, we got another one. All right guys, I'm gonna go over back to the bank. Yeah, looks like another little dinky trout. But it's still a trout. I wasn't sure what would be in this river. And this one took the same fly again. And that is another little wild brown trout. Same nymph, guys. Same nymph. And there's a big golden stone fly coming right down next to this on every drift. Wow, this one looks really cool. Same nymph. This thing's just... I don't understand how it's so good. Let's go ahead and get this guy back. This is... Check this one out, guys. Now, yeah, gotta get in the sunlight. Yeah, let me show you in the shade. I'll just turn my back here so I can show you guys the color on this wild brown trout. You can kind of, There you go, you can see it that way. Future 20-incher. There he goes, right there. Just trying to creep in here, right where this flow dumps out. I would expect, I would expect a trout judging on this pool. I'm gonna say a large trout. Maybe a very large trout. That cast is a little short, but... Oh, I just saw a rise out there. How crazy is that? This is extremely deep. Not where I'm standing, but along that far bank is like crazy. So I don't even think this hopper is gonna, I don't think if there's fish in there that they're moving off the bottom, especially 15 feet. But uh, we'll slap this in there. Right along that current. pretty good cast it's just I don't know if it's getting down in there because there's a big back swirl right about here it starts swirling back so I don't know if I'm even getting a good drift or what 
See the line's going. I mean, I kind of want to set the hook, but I really can't. It's kind of going with the current. No idea where those flies are. Hate to say it, guys. I'm going to have to come back here with spinning gear. Let me know in the comments. Are you going to kill me? If I come back and throw some big jerk baits in this hole? Maybe we'll do that in the middle of winter. Going to go up to where this riffle comes in. Maybe this is a little bit easier to fish. Man, there's got to be a big one in there somewhere. Got to be a big trout in this. There just has to be. That's just the way it works. If you have a setup like this, got to be a big fish somewhere. Well, today's adventure was uh, kind of confusing. I thought we were going to find some really, really nice trout. They got to be in here. If there's wild brown trout in here and there's big pools and the water's cold, there's got to be some big fish. So drop me some comments below. Give me some suggestions. What type of tactics do you want me to come back and try to find those big trout? They have to be in here somewhere. So leave me some comments. Hit the like button on your way out. See you guys in the next video.